hairstyles. I'm gonna be showing you a beachy wave tutorial and it's not like your typical one where you use a regular barrel and you kind of like let the ends go. It is my own style, but I wanted to show you without using any heat. And the other hairstyle that I'm going to be showing you today is when you part your hair and you snatch your hair back and do those wonderful French braids, Dutch braids, pigtail braids, whatever you want to call them, they're just some braids. And I know my hair is looking a little curly right now, but we're going to get to the tutorial. I ended up going to Walmart to pick up these products. They do carry them there. And I have previously already used Carol's Daughter. I used to use a split end remedy that I completely used up and another one, I forgot what it was, it's like a leave-in cream, which is kind of similar to the one I have today. And I have Manoi oil, and a lot of you know that I love Manoi oil from Tahiti. It's just really great for your hair. I have been trying these out, and this is the Carol's Daughter Hair Melt. Now I love things like this because this is a refresher spray and this is more of like a leave-on sort of remedy. I'm someone where I don't wash my hair all the time, but when I do not wash my hair, I like to refresh my hair, have it smell good, besides dry shampoo. This one right here is the Hair Milk, and this is a refresher spray. This is going to help deeply moisturize. It improves softness and prevents frizz, and there's also agave in it, sweet almond, and wheat protein. So it actually has like a super, super refreshing smell for your hair, and especially if you're someone that doesn't really need dry shampoo right away, this is really good for the rest of the hair, not just the roots, because I feel like a lot of people just refresh freshen their hair at the roots because it's oily, but ideally we have to also moisturize the rest of our hair and also the tips of our hair. It comes in a spray bottle and you can just refresh your hair like this, which I actually have to because this is I'm on second day hair currently. My hair's a little bit greasy, but I'm going to be doing the braids first, so it's kind of good that my hair's a little bit dirty. The Hair Milk, and this is an original leave-in moisturizer, and I love things like this just to stick it in. Whenever I do like a braid, or even if you guys always see my hair in like those bun days, hashtag bunning, I always like to leave a leave-in moisturizer or conditioner in my hair and just wrap it all the way up. And you can't see the product, obviously, because my hair's soaking in all the goodness, while it's just up. So it's like a treatment and it just toss your hair up kind of hairdo. This one is going to deeply moisturize, improve softness, and prevents frizz. I feel like whenever I use products like these, like leave-in treatments and refreshers, that's why my hair hasn't been frizzy. It's been very silky and soft. And then this one is for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. And even if you don't have like really curly hair or wavy, wavy hair, you can still use this. I like this because I feel like it gives like a really nice texture to the hair. It's Itself. And then for the last product I'm also going to be showing within the tutorials is the hair milk and this one is a four in one four in one four in one combing cream and this is going to ease detangling which is awesome especially if you get out of the shower it also enhances curl definition adds intense shine and then it says it preps hair for perfect styling which is awesome which is what I'm going to be using today for the braids as well so uh, let's get on with the tutorial again you can get these products at Walmart and also Carol's Carol Carol's daughter also has a YouTube as well in case you need like hair inspiration I am in the LA area so I want to do something where I find that a lot of LA people just seem to wear around this time or anywhere but I know in particular LA right now is just rocking those braids like all over and of course being by the beach everybody wants beachy waves nice loose waves or more voluminous waves so I'm going to be showing you more voluminous waves so now let's get on to the tutorial Whoop! it is very hard to braid my own hair so if I can do it I know you can do it. Being very truthful, I am still practicing myself. My hair sometimes can turn out really good in the braids and sometimes it's just like a lot of mess and I'll secretly have like about 20 bobby pins but they're hidden so no one knows. So I kind of already sprayed my hair with this refresher. Now this is the 4-in-1 combing cream I talked about. Add this into my hair because this is actually going to help just smooth back my hair, give some shine, help my hair not be too frizzy. And this is also going to help when you do your braids so that they look a little bit more neat and in like more slick. So first thing you want to do is part your hair. You can do a middle part, side part, whatever part you love. I'm personally just going to stick to the middle part. I don't have a comb or anything that really just parts my hair at the moment. But what I always use are makeup brushes and I just bring it all the way down right here. I'll lift up and then I'll just spread the hair out and trying to use like my viewfinder as a mirror. Take the hair that I'm not going to braid on this side and just bring it back. First thing you're gonna do is just take a little bit of hair right in the very front 
and not too much. Make sure that your hair is brushed out and make sure that each side is completely brushed out because if your hair is tangled, there's going to be no way you can do this. Separate our hair into three sections and now you're going to start to braid. Now I'm gonna call this piece one, I'm going to call this piece two, and I'm going to call this piece three. So when I start my braid, I'm gonna start with piece one. I'm going to cross piece one over two, right there. Now I'm going to take piece three and cross it over piece two. One over two, oh no. <laughs> and then piece three over two. Now that you've done that a couple times, I just wanna go maybe like two or three times. I piece one and take it with a little bit of hair that's down below, that's with the rest of the bunch. Now you're gonna make a new piece one with some of the bottom, cross it over piece two. Now this is why it's very important that your hair is not tangled because if you have tangles, then you're not gonna be able to bring that piece over. Now with piece three, you're going to bring some from the back over here, grab just a little, and then try to just bring this hair down. The hard part is really trying to maneuver your hair. So now you're gonna bring three over two and cross it over. Now you're gonna do the same exact thing with one, Take one, a little bit more hair in the front, cross over, and this is when it can start getting a little bit hard. Piece three again, take a little bit more from the back, and this is why you don't want tangles. I just kind of just bring it down and brush it, hold it with my pinky. One over two, three over two. One over two, three over two, each time bringing a little bit more hair. Okay, I finally got my braid done. I'm just going to take my scrunchie and tie it at the very end. Now, one thing that could have made it easier, which I totally forgot to do, is I like to use the comb and cream a little bit at the end, which I totally forgot to do because I think I was concentrating so much to try to get this right. And you start doing your sections and it starts getting a little bit harder to grab the hair and you need a little bit more texture here. What I'll do is I'll take it and I'll tap it and I'll bring the hair here, bring it forward, separate it, and whenever I need the cream, I just always tap there and I'll just grab it a little, just so it like really slicks the hair back. Okay, so you guys, I finally finished my braids. Your arms are gonna build some muscle. You just have to keep doing it because it is just time consuming. Your arms do get tired, but practice makes perfect. So just to let you know that someone who is not good at doing braids just did some braids. So, and they look decent enough where I can walk outside, right? Right. Okay, so now let's go on to my wavy hair tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy that voluminous hair. This is the way that I personally like to achieve beachy waves because I do not like to use any heat on my hair lately, which is why my hair has finally been growing. Something that I do at nighttime, which is why I'm in my pajamas, but I put a sports bra so you didn't see, you know, the goods. So this is the way that I do beachy waves. I don't use any tools or anything like that. I just do four different separate braids. Now this is something that I like to do at night because I like the braids to sit overnight so I really have more volume. I usually like to do one at the very top because then when I undo it tomorrow morning, which I'll be back in the morning time to show you, then I don't know, I just feel like the waves lay really nice in the front. I don't like to start braids right here because then I feel like it's just so flat and then it goes into a random wave. Refreshing my hair because this is one day old hair. I'm going to be using this product right here which is the Hair Milk Improve Softness and Prevent Frizz. Because when I put my hair in braids, I want it like waves and not too frizzy. To bring some life back to it because it is pretty dry at the ends too. Hair Milk, now this one is the 4-in-1 Combing Cream because this is going to help style your hair. I want to put too much but just enough one right down the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. I actually start my braid going down and I flip it up. Watch, you'll see. So I'm going to do a normal braid. Now I'm not doing my braid too tight to place a little on the back of my hand and then I'm going to dab it. Dab. And I'm going to use this at the ends. I don't like just to put the scrunchie at the end and kind of have like that flared out look. I still want it to look curled. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any curlers or rollers on me, like sponge ones, which are really awesome because they don't have any, they don't acquire heat, obviously, and I really love those, but those are with my mom, Mama Whoop Whoop. But what I like to do is take the end of my hair right here. You can just bring the three strands together. Now, this is what I do in order to kind of make it look curly at the end. I'll take it and I'll wrap it around the braid itself. So now I have 
this wrapping around left with like a little loop. Now that loop, I like to just tuck it into the braid, little rubber band. I only have like these medium sized scrunchies, which is okay because I'm not doing super, super small braids. Tie it, but not too tight. Don't do it so it's like really squeezing your hair too much. And what this is going to do is make my hair look more wavy at the end as opposed to just psh, dead ends. These two as well. So now I have four different sections. I like to try to bring it as close as I can to the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and braid my hair in the four sections and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all done. I know this looks pretty funny right now, but I'm telling you in the morning, I'm gonna have really nice voluminous waves that are gonna last all day long. Tomorrow morning, when I wake up, I'll take off my braids and you'll see all my wonderful waves. Okay, good morning, guys. <laughs> I literally just woke up again. I know I look cray through all my braids and then see when I took out this little scrunchie Now it's curly at the end. See okay So now this is what my hair looks like It's nice and wavy as you can see and then you can part your hair However, you want if you want to keep it up or if you want to bring it to the side And it's almost like mermaid hair and then if anything's too frizzy You can always add in more of the cream or you can add a little bit of a refresher of the spray to kind of tame it down. And then I just like to bring my hair through it, but don't brush it or else it's gonna get even bigger. I like more of a curly and you did no heat. Alright you guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorials. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if these tutorials helped you. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Woo